Hi, I'm Jupiter, and I'm the biggest planet around. I make waves wherever I go. I control asteroids with a single flex of my gravitational muscles. Poor Earth. I send the feisty ones in her direction. They don't call us near-Earth objects for nothing. Careful, you're getting a little too close for comfort. My gravity isn't the only thing that makes me a force to be reckoned with. My gas is giant too. Billions of miles of gassy goodness can really pack a punch. Hey, durian fruit, I think we found a new member for our club. By Jove, I think you're right. But not everybody appreciates the zing of this giant's gassy surface. Well, if it isn't Io and Ganymede, two of my favorite moons. Unlike Earth and my many lunar friends, I don't have a solid surface. It's just layer after layer of gas as far as the nose can smell. Gas planets and rocky moons are as different as night and day. Did he say gas? The top layer of my atmosphere, called the exosphere, is made up of helium, a noble gas for a noble planet. You mean you're filled with the same stuff that makes balloons fly? I thought every body was made of rock like us. And lots and lots of hydrogen. Gas leak! Which, by the way, is a highly explosive gas under the right conditions. Duck and cover, Ganymede! Quick, Io! What happens when you mix potato chips and hydrogen? But those gases are odorless. Tsk, tsk. That stuff is going to float all the way out into interstellar space. Good thing you can't smell helium and hydrogen. Is that all you got, big guy? Deep down is where it starts to get interesting. If you're brave enough to explore my gaseous swirls, you'll find some aromatic surprises. Smell at your own risk. The light layers look safe. Challenge accepted? The lighter layers give off the delicate fragrance of ammonia. That's the chemical found in human-made cleaning products. And in a natural substance everyone knows all too well. Urine. You take the last layer, Ganymede. Anybody know where the nearest rest stop is? If you journey a little deeper into the layers, you get a bonus. The stench of rotting eggs to go with your ammonia. It's like someone didn't take out the garbage for like 4.6 billion years. You're smelling the next one, Io. That's the hydrogen sulfide. As your nose travels to the heavier layers, you'll encounter hydrogen cyanide. Cyanide can be quite toxic. This chemical compound delivers the aroma of bitter almonds or sweet marzipan, depending on your point of view. All that gas creates some powerful odors. It also whips up some powerful storms. Did you know my great red spot can break wind at 425 miles per hour? Remind me to bring my windbreaker next time. You two really have a way with words. You might also be interested to know that when the pressure inside me gets really strong, I can squeeze my gas into liquid. I am most definitely not interested in knowing that. Gross, we're out of here. Leaving so soon? We're taking a break from all that wind. See you around, big guy. Hey, what's that burning stench? One of my five, 400 volcanoes just shot a poisonous plume of sulfur dioxide into space. Cool. The end. Hope you enjoyed all this information about Jupiter. Have fun. Bye for now.